Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so this is my first video on my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys... Make sure you guys hit that subscribe, hit that post notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I post a new video, and hit that like if you guys want to see more of my content. So basically, I'm for my first video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, so on my Instagram, I did a poll and asked you guys, like, I asked you guys to ask me something, and yeah, I just... So let's get into the Q&A. Okay, so the first question is how many siblings do I have? I have two, I am the youngest. Yeah, I have two other siblings. I have a brother and a sister and I am the youngest. The next question is, do you like rap music? Kind of a hard question to ask it's not my favorite but sometimes i listen to it so yeah the next question is what's your fav favorite color <sighs> my favorite color is probably i have four i have four favorite colors i have i like red i like pastel lavender pastel blue and pastel yellow those are like my like tops out of everything next question is have you ever had a scandal if yes explain okay so i have not ever been in one i have never caused a scandal and I've never, I've never had a scandal, so. And it said, if yes, explain, so I can't really explain because I haven't really been in one. Okay, next question. Single or taken? And he likes me back. So yeah. He likes me back. Next question. My age. Okay, so my age right now, like my current state is 11 and a half. Like, I am almost 12. On May 27th, I will become 12. So, that's fun. Next question. How, how do you feel about your ex-best friend? Um, I have two ex-best best friends. My current one, right now, I don't really have a thought about her because I don't really care for my ex-best friends because I have a reason for not being their friend friend and my like my the first one I had um the same thing I don't really think about them that much because I mean I'm not their friend anymore so I don't really have too much thought about them because they're not a part of my life anymore and I don't want them to be in my headspace so yeah next next question what's your fave song and color So I already answered my the color. It's either a red, it's red, lavender, lavender, like a pink, um, a pastel lavender, pastel blue, and a pastel yellow. Um, my favorite song. Don't really have one. I like a lot of songs. Yeah, I don't really have one at the current state right now. 
Next question. What is my type? My type. So like for this, I'm just gonna pop up celebrity celebrity crushes. Like one of one of my celebrity crushes is Noah Schnapp. He's cute. Um, I keep forgetting his real name, but I'm just gonna say Peter Kaminsky from To All the Boys I Loved Before. I'm just gonna say that. Tom Holland, Timothy Chalamet. Those are like my ideal types, but my, those are like my ideal types. My most embarrassing moment is the Next question. My most embarrassing moment is probably going to be. My most embarrassing moment is probably gonna be. I have several, if I'm really being honest. Um, hmm. One of my most embarrassing moments was when I hit a. So I broke my arm when I was in kindergarten, I think. I think it was in kindergarten when this all took place. I broke my arm on a playground, which sucks because that's every child's dream to be on a playground. So I broke my arm on a playground and during my sister's soccer game. So it wasn't the best. <laughs> I went to the hospital, blah, 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 kindergarten. This little boy, I can't even remember his name right now. Um, it was so long ago. Um, this little boy in kindergarten like was making fun of me. And I do not take things lightly when people, because he was making fun of me because I'm a girl and girls can't do the same stuff as guys can do, guys can do. And I hate when guys tell me that. So, this is like the first time I've gotten physical with someone more. This is the first really bad physical time I've gotten with somebody. So I took my cast, I got super mad because he kept making fun with all of his friends and I kept getting super mad because number one, like I just said, I hate when boys tell me something I can't do and I hate getting made fun of. So, and I hate other people getting made fun of, but yeah, anyway. I took my cast and I hit him in the head. And when I, after I do things, like I didn't think about, I did not think about it before I did it and so I got back then there was like green card which is you've been really good yellow card that there were some problems and there's red card that you've been super super bad hmm <laughs> I got a red card and my cousin my cousin came to pick me up from school I have no reason I have I'm super confused as to why but they picked me up and, she, and they were like how why'd you get a red card today Finley oh and I also got um, a lunch thing slip. I can't remember where I eat, where I don't go outside for lunch. And he's like, why did you get a lunch slip and why did you get a red card, Finley? I'm like, oh. And I just looked out the window and I'm like, oh. Um, I was like, I made a boy think twice. And she was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I hit him with my cast. And, she's, and they just started laughing. And, they're, and we just talked about it. So that was like the one of the most embarrassing. moments when I went back to school that was like one of the most embarrassing moments when I went back to school because well I hate getting in trouble like when I get in trouble with someone I my head feels like it's on fire and I get all sweaty and it, it's just embarrassing for me to get in trouble and in, in front of like a whole classroom so yeah how's your quarantine doing this This is the last question that everybody asked me. I'm gonna, just, right after this last question, I'm just gonna be telling you guys things about me. Like, yeah, I'm, okay. <laughs> um, next question is, how's your quarantine doing? <sighs> um, it's been nice. I've, I haven't really gotten ready, really. Um, 
how my quarantine has been going is that a lot of schoolwork has been happening, which really sucks. Um, I've been really stressed out a lot. I miss my friends like a lot. I never thought I could miss my friends this much. Um, and I'm also like quarantine, quarantine. So that like the word quarantine is in it. So like not really fun. Can't really go anywhere. And it's just, I just say I'm not doing good. I'm doing okay. Stressed and all. Um, next question. Well, that is for me. So we have exited the Q&A and we are now talking about things that are about me. So, questions that I did not get were what's my hobbies, sport, and all those kinds of things. So, my favorite, my favorite sport, these are like my top sports, are either soccer, basketball, and I sometimes, not all the time, so don't come at me in the comment section. Uh, sometimes, um, I sometimes golf with my dad, so. are doing sports like I just said being an outgoing person I like to hang out with my friends a lot like I'll do anything with my friends like going on walks with my friends those are that's really fun to do and um, one of the main things is like exercising um, I like to paint sometimes um, I like to paint. I like to do YouTube. I like to film. Well, it's not really a hobby yet, but it soon will be, guys. It soon will be. It soon will be. And another thing, really fast before getting into this video, like continuing this video, I am super sorry. This video is late. Um, a lot of stuff happened yesterday, and I could not really film. It was a stressful kind of day for me yesterday. Didn't really have time to film, and I'm super sorry. And one more thing before continuing with this video, uh, my goal right now is to get to 100 subscribers. That's all I'm looking forward to right now is just getting to 100 subscribers. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I will do the first comment on. Uh, I'll do most liked comment I have and I'll do anything not too extreme but extreme I'll do I can't do super extreme so just keep that in mind um and now let's get back into the video okay so and another one of my hobbies is like beauty be being a musician, like I have a bunch of art, like instrumental stuff. I play viola, I play ukulele, and I also play piano. I like to sing, but none of that on this channel. I don't really know if I want. I have a singing Instagram account, but I haven't really posted it on it yet, so yeah. Okay, next, next thing is like what made me want to become a youtuber um i just wanted to put this out there two things on youtube what made me want to become a youtuber was just watching all the youtube videos and how they it was looked super fun just to vlog every single day not every single day but a couple of days a week and just basically see um like have a family like a youtube family um, so I thought that that was fun and my journey up to now um, to here is that I first started and I did not have as much subscribers as I have now and I'm super thankful for all of my 22 subscribers. I don't know if I have more by then but right now, but right now I have 22 subscribers but my first time I saw it and I was like this looks fun. I want to do it. I got, thir I got like 13 subscribers. I don't know 
how, no, I think I got like, for, by then I had like 10 subscribers or whatever. Not, I did not have that many that's, as I do right now. Um, and very poor quality. Uh, there'd either be super long videos, good medium videos, or super short videos. I did not know how to edit. And it was just a nightmare. Like looking back on those videos, they were just a nightmare. Mm, and it was not the best. Um, and then I took a short break, then I did another thing. And I finally learned how to edit thanks to one of my ex best friends. Um, and it was fine. It was better quality. Um, the video lengths were super short, they were like medium or very long and long videos they're fine but like right now I'm looking back and I'm like I should have made it's just I just didn't want to keep those videos because like I said they had some of my ex best friends they have a couple of them and my ex best friend in it and I just didn't want to keep and I, I just wanted to start fresh because fresh because it was almost 2020 by then it was like the getting it was at the end of 2019 and getting into 2020. And so I was just like, I'm gonna delete every single video. And yeah, I took a very long break. And I was like, if I ever decide to vlog again, it'll be a new it'll be a new chapter in my life. Of it. That's what I thought, so I deleted everything. So I just had a channel and just watched YouTube videos. Then, yeah, it was like a super long break. And then, until now, I have been doing a bunch of stuff stuff leading up to, to getting to here like I had to make a YouTube profile photo organize my channel make a YouTube banner which was the, almost the death of me because it was just super hard to make then I finally made it um, and I had to watch a bunch of videos and like editing and like YouTube tips and all of that so I, it was a very stressful kind of process because I wanted to make it the best kind of stuff so that's like my journey leading up to, to here and why I want to become a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, like, back to why I want to become a YouTuber. It's like, it's hard to explain why I want to become a YouTuber. Like, there's a lot of things I can say to, like, a lot of people would say, some people would say that they're in it for the money. Some people would say that they're in it for like a YouTube family and like for me I'm in it just for you guys just for a YouTube family and for like to have make the most fun out of it because I honestly want my own kind of family when I feel like nobody's there for me I know that there's people there and I know and when people feel like nobody's there they know that this it's weird to say but they have like this little community I'd say and yeah, that's just, there's like a lot of reasons why I'm in it, and I don't really want to make it that long of a video, so, yeah, and that's my reasons on why I want to become a YouTuber, and like my journey leading up to right now on my YouTube story. Um, another thing. Another thing is that another thing is probably gonna be that another another question is like my style. Like as you guys can probably tell already from like my YouTube page, it's probably gonna be like a vintage a vintage 90s thing. And I was super happy because when I first started leading up to like this point in my life at first i was super like guy stuff like i was super one of those girls then i laid it up to vintage but i still also had a part of me and i still now i also have a part of me that likes guy stuff but then it was vintage and a little bit of guy stuff then 90s thing and put it together and i didn't know what to call it yet so i just like i just have liked those those kinds of things for a while now and when vintage came out where it's like a mixture of those kinds of things okay 
let's get, let's get back to it. Okay, um. I was super happy when vintage became a thing because that was, that's my kind of style. And honestly, I just, it has been my style for a long time. It really is a hard, hard thing for me to like, let go of my style. So it has been, so like, I feel like when this style is like not in anymore, it's still gonna be in for me. <laughs> but anyways, that was the video. I really hope you guys like it. Give this video a like if you guys want to see more of my kind of videos and thank you guys so much for staying till the end um, of this video if you guys did and I love you all so much thank you bye <laughs>